Let's get into the Euros, everyone. Hey, are you excited about the Euros 2016? These guys are all excited. <laughs> I'm joined with Jamie Hinks, Andy Davies, and Tyrone Atkins. And we're, we're talking the battle, the first one, uh, Thursday, June 30th, the battle of the two countries that start with P.O. That's right. It's Poland and Portugal. Uh, Poland uh, have struggled. I mean, they've gotten here, but Lewandowski hasn't scored since, uh, when we find this, 2012. He hasn't scored in a Euro since 2012, whereas uh, Portugal have actually been playing really well. What do we think of this game, guys? Poland, Portugal, uh, Portugal finally found their stride. Is Poland, uh, they got a chance? Tyrone, what do you think? Uh, Poland haven't let a goal in yet. Have they? No, Shakiri's oh, won. Yeah. They've let in one goal in four games. Uh, so that's quite impressive. And what a goal that was. It took a one to goal to, to breach that defence. And uh, yeah, uh, Portugal terrify me. I'm not a fan of Portugal this tournament. Uh, they didn't win a game in the groups. They managed to get through in the third place. And then they, they beat my favourites. They beat Croatia. A really knackered, rubbish-looking Croatia as well. <laughs> who obviously shot their bolt, as they were, uh, as it were, against uh, Spain in the last group game. Uh, well done, Portugal, and, and doing that. I'm terrified now Portugal going to go all the way and get to the final. Um, so Poland, this, I've been saying it every game, this is the one that Lewandowski is going to turn up. Um, I'm actually prepared to put money on that he won't score in this tournament, uh, and yet Poland could still possibly go all the way to the final, who knows. Um, oh God, this game's going to be hard. It's going to be 1-1, I think. And then Portugal are going to somehow win it on penalties. I think it's just, I can just smell Ronaldo Renaissance at this point of the tournament. And good luck to him, well done to sort of be able to, I don't know, there have been more than just one man, to be fair, Portugal. Um, they have. Resmo has been delivering on the promise of 12 years ago which has been fantastic. Nani looks like a player that could play in the Premier League again. And at defence, aged or otherwise, they've been doing rather well. I've, I, yeah, I see Portugal winning some penalties, terrifyingly so. Jamie, what are we thinking? Because uh, Portugal, I mean, they can be scored on. And uh, Poland has really held a good defence. Can, can Poland beat these guys or is uh, Portugal going to jump all over them? Yeah, it's, it's weird with Poland because they're the highest scoring team in qualifying. And then they've just gone through the group stage and just don't score goals anymore, it seems, which, I, I, which is mainly to do with Lewandowski just hitting a really bad patch of form. Um, but yeah, Portugal, have they really, I, I don't think they've played, I'm, I'm trying not to disrespect the group they're in, but that looked like a really soft group before the start. I know teams like Hungary and Austria, uh, well, Hungary and Iceland have done really well now. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think they've played anyone particularly good. I don't know what happened for Croatia in that game. I really don't. Like, I, they did look quality, and I was doubting them all along, but like, I didn't think that would happen. I th well, actually, no, I did. I thought they'd go to extra time, and I didn't know what would happen after that. But, um, yeah, I, po Poland have really impressed me because the fullbacks seem to have learned how to defend, whereas in past tournaments they've just been bombing on the whole time and not defending at all. And they kind of defend, the midfielders defend very well as well. And then they'll get forward and they'll break on you, which is why I think Poland will probably win this. Um, I I'm going to go for another 1-0. No. I, I I I think they've got just about enough to handle Ronaldo. Um, and I think they have got other players, Portugal, but they're not good enough to step up and do it on their own. A lot of people want to handle Ronaldo. Uh, Andy, what do you think is going to happen in this game? Well, first of all, this is, uh, this is a game that all uh, Remain people can get behind. Because, uh, I mean, I live in South London and I've got a pub in front of me run by a Polish guy. And then just up the road, I've got uh, a Portuguese uh, drinking establishment. So I'm probably going to be drinking in both. I'm going to start off in the Polish bar, and uh, if things turn towards Portugal, I'll just sort of make my excuses and run uh, a couple of hundred yards up the road. Um, I can only see a draw in this game. I, th I agree with you. I think Poland have got enough to handle Ronaldo, but I agree with you. Portugal are nasty, and there's something about Portugal that you just know that they're going to end up at the final. It's just that, they're just the way, it's that horrible thing with Ronaldo. He's going to be absolutely rubbish for the rest of the tournament, but still get to the final and break everyone's heart by, by smashing the winning penalty in a, in a, in a shootout <laughs> and then rip his shirt off and do that. And it's just, uh, it makes my blood boil. But um, I, want, I really want Poland to win. We all do. But I've got a feeling it's going to be a draw and I've, I'm going with you. I'm going for a Portugal penalty shootout win. Oh, depressing, it. isn't it? Yeah, it's really depressing. <laughs> depressing is how we do it. That's football. That's the heroes. Don't be depressed. Get into it. I'm calling for Poland to win 2-1. to one. How do you get involved? Go to DraftKings.co.uk. Put together your own eight-man lineup. You could win big during the Euros. Welcome to the big time.